Hi, Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ here, and in this tutorial, I'll be covering how a site administrator can add Braintree payments as an option in their WooCommerce checkout. Adding the Braintree payment gateway to an WooCommerce checkout gives potential customers the option to use their credit card. Many site owners will choose to enable both Braintree and PayPal payment gateways to widen the selection of payment methods to further increase conversion rates. If you haven't heard of Braintree before, it is similar to Stripe in the way it handles credit card payments, although it is in fact owned by PayPal. Braintree is commonly used on online websites to collect credit card payments as it is a secure method and it also allows for an on-site checkout. WooCommerce, on the other hand, is one of the most well-known e-commerce plugins for WordPress. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at how a free plugin by a third-party developer titled WooCommerce Braintree Payment Gateway found on WordPress.org can be used to seamlessly add Braintree to the checkout page of WooCommerce. Once you've completed this tutorial, you'll see the option to enter credit card details to check out with an WooCommerce product you have created. If you haven't already got WooCommerce installed and activated on your website, please do so before continuing. You'll also need to go to your WordPress dashboard and add the WooCommerce Braintree Payment Gateway plugin. Once these two plugins are installed and activated, you're ready to configure the required settings. Once you've logged into your WordPress dashboard, click on the WooCommerce Settings menu. From that Settings menu, you'll need to go across to the fourth tab titled Payments and click on that. If you've installed the Braintree plugin successfully, then you'll see the Braintree option under the Payments menu. You'll need to ensure that this is toggled to be enabled and then save the changes for that. Then you'll need to click on the Setup or it may say Manage button. From within that Manage button, You'll need to ensure that it is enabled. You can title it any title of your choosing. So something that represents credit card payments is advised. You can give it a short description and it's here that you'll need to add in your Braintree API keys. So you'll need to locate your merchant ID, your public key and your private key and they can either be found from your Sandbox Braintree account or your live Braintree account. So it depends if you're testing or if you're going live mode to allow customers to check out on your website. So in this tutorial, we've just enabled Sandbox and we've entered in our Sandbox merchant ID, our Sandbox public key and our Sandbox private key. We found all of those API keys from within our Sandbox Braintree account. So once you've got in your API keys, whether they're Sandbox or your live keys, you'll need to go ahead and click that Save Changes button. Once you save those changes, if you've entered in correct API keys, ensuring that you do enter them into the correct fields, then when you go to the front end of an WooCommerce product, you should have the option to check out with credit card. I've arrived on the front end of my website where I've clicked to check out with an WooCommerce product that I created for this video tutorial. So if I scroll down on that checkout page, after the customer enters in all their address details, their email, their phone, they can scroll down they can see what they've ordered and the subtotal and total. And then just below that is where they can check out using their credit card. So this is the Braintree checkout when they enter in their credit card number, expiry and CVV and they click place order. This payment will be processed with Braintree. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial on how you can add Braintree to your WooCommerce checkout. 